Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, guys, I'm coming at you with a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I made a video right before this one, you guys, and it's about that Copa. Watch the video. I'm not going to go over it right now because it just bums me out. And I thoroughly explain where I'm at on this whole Copa thing and, my, and the um, future of my channel. But my channel's all good. We're gonna, I'm just going to do the same thing I've always done until um, we find out what's going on by January 1st. But go watch that video because I do explain a lot of things I think a lot of YouTubers aren't understanding yet about that Copa thing. Okay? It's serious. It's very serious. Okay. Let's do some good stuff. A Dollar Tree haul. Okay. This is what's exciting. I have a Dollar Tree. I, I drive out of my neighborhood. Turn left, there's a Dollar Tree. I could throw a rock and hit the Dollar Tree. Can you believe that? I have another Dollar Tree that's a minute away. And then another Dollar Tree is like maybe three or four minutes away. And another one five minutes away. But this one is right around the corner from my house. Like I go out, I turn left. Like I could walk to the Dollar Tree. I could take a rock and hit the Dollar Tree. Okay. Very dangerous. There should not be a Dollar Tree that close to me. I've already gone there twice this week. And it's not called Dollar Tree. It's the $30 Dollar Tree. Because every time I go there, I spend 30 bucks. At least. Okay. I bought... Are these all the same ones? No, I think... No, they're all different. Okay. I think I bought maybe six of these because I want to put some in giveaways. I think they're so cool. Um, deck the halls and their buffalo check. You guys look. Ah! Now, I do a shabby chic pink Christmas. So, I, um, I don't do a plaid Christmas, but I would do a plaid Christmas if I didn't do the pink shabby chic Christmas I do now. So, anyway, but I love buffalo check. Deck the halls. I was on the hunt for these mugs, you guys. I could not find these mugs to save my life. And, um... Did I get these? This is two different Dollar Trees. This is my new Dollar Tree by my house. And then this is a Dollar Tree that was down, down the way from me. Like the one that's like three or four minutes away. So that's where I got the mugs finally. But then I seen the mugs at the new Dollar Tree that's by my house. Okay, this one says comfort and joy. And you guys, if you see these mugs, get all that you want. If you want them for gifts, if you want more than one of each, get all you want because these things go quickly. Quick, dreaming, uh, says, um, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, and that's my favorite one. I love that saying, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Aren't these so cool? I love buffalo check everything. And like I said, I add buffalo check to my fall decor, because I don't do it for Christmas. But if I didn't do a, um, if I didn't do a pink shabby chic Christmas, um, oh, it would be all buffalo plaid. All types of plaid. I love that look also. Okay. Um, let me leave those right there. Okay. Next. This might be more of the mugs. Just a second. Yeah, these are all the mugs again repeated. So I bought two of each of those mugs. And that's what's in here. And those are for giveaways. Those are for my, um, my um, yarn giveaways. For uh, people who like to watch my um, yarny videos. Okay. Okay, you guys, I bought probably... I might buy close pair, 10 pairs of these socks. Okay, let me explain why. They are the diabetic socks. I don't have diabetes. <laughs> and they're the men's 6 to 12. But the reason I got these is... I absolutely love these socks because when I go to the gym, I wear like black spandex that go all the way down to my ankles. And then I like to wear like a longer sock that I scrunch down. And I like it to be black. So it's black all the way up. You know, there's not some white sock there. So it's black all, so it's lengthening, you know. So that's what I, how I like to, to do it when I go to the gym. And so those kind of socks, like if I buy like Nike or Under Armour, you know, that's like 10 or 12 bucks for like three pairs of socks or something. This is a dollar a piece. And so, look, they're that long. It's like perfect, see? So they're good. That They go almost up to my knee, and I just take them, and I just scrunch them. Scrunch, you know, so they look nice and scrunched. Um, I love it. And they're well-made. They feel great. I really don't understand how these are diabetic socks. Aren't diabetic socks supposed to, like, maybe be kind of fit you kind of tight, maybe, or something? I, I don't know. But... 
anyway, it's what I need for the gym. And also, this would be great for, you know, wearing with your boots and stuff, too, because you can scrunch them. So, I picked up probably 10 pairs of these socks. Love them. Because I picked up, like, five at one store. It's all they had was five of them. And I've seen these, these socks before, and I was always looking for them, like, last year, and I could never find them. And then at my new Dollar Tree, that's where I picked up five or six more pairs. That's why I say all together, I'll probably run into some more here in a second. Okay. I love these wall decals because I do mixed media and I use these as focal points a lot of times and I absolutely love them. Like this one says it's a unicorn and it says believe in, believe in miracles. Yeah, believe in miracles and it has a unicorn. Isn't that fabulous? I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to use that as a focal point of one of my uh, mixed media pages. And this one says, oh, okay, this is what it says. Believe in magic. Because it's on the other side here. Believe in magic. So this is the body of the unicorn. See, that's the body. And then this is the head. So you have to put it together. Oops, I'm going to have it up wrong. Yes, there we go. See, there's the horn for the unicorn. So this would be fabulous, and to do a double page spread, I'd have to do a double page spread, so the, so that the focal point would fit. Okay, um, I love these. You guys have seen me get these before. They work awesomely. They're nice and bright. They're these. These are fabulous. They're nice and thin. These are um, flashlights. They're nice and thin. Look how thin that is. I absolutely love it. They're nice and bright. I have them all over my house, so if the lights go out, I'm safe. I'm good. I have one in my purse. They fit right in your purse, right? They can fit right in a bag, fit right in your car. These are fabulous, and they're nice and bright. I don't want to blind you guys, but they're nice. I love them, um, and I love how pretty this one is pink. So I got two pink ones, and I've bought a lot of these, you guys. I probably have 10 of them, and then this more hot pink one. These are also would be great in a beauty bag because they're so feminine looking. Like if you want to do a beauty, um, not a beauty bag. If you want to do, um, what is that called? A beauty basket. This would be great to throw in a beauty basket, I think. It um, be great to throw in um, stocking stuffers. So love these. And I saw them again. Last year I was looking for them. I couldn't find them to save my life. This year I find them all the time now. It's weird. It's weird how some Dollar Trees get them and then a year later your Dollar Tree gets them. Anyway, um, I love these pens. Ah! Aren't they so cute? They're pink and it's that light baby pink and then it has the bunny ears. Everything. So, you know, I got two of them. So hopefully that'll be like my little pick. Okay. <laughs> I have all kind of pictures right there. <laughs> you guys are like, girl, you're crazy. I know. Okay. I never said I was sane. Never said I was sane. Okay. Okay, now I talked about those socks. Here's a bunch more of those socks. We already discussed that, so. There's three or four more pairs here. What else is in here? Um, just got some 8-volt batteries. Something real quick about these. They don't always have these at all the Dollar Trees. So if you have stuff that really needs 8-volt batteries, I would pick up quite a few. Because it took. I haven't seen 8-volt in my Dollar Trees in a long time. But at my new Dollar Tree, they had them. And at all the rest of Dollar Trees, they used to always have them. But they haven't. So anyway, pick those up. I picked up three of these because I want to put them in giveaways. So I picked up three of them. These are stencils. These are those self-adhesive ones. I could care less if it's self-adhesive or not. To me, that doesn't make a difference. You put the damn stencil on there and you, whatever you're going to use, whether it's a spray or it's a, the, you know, you have your little makeup sponge with acrylic paint, whatever. Just hold it. But they are self-adhesive. Eventually, that'll wear off. So you just have to hold it, which to me, I've always just, like oh, anybody that doesn't see it, we always hold our stencils down. But there's some people who get really freaked out, like if it doesn't self-stick. Whatever. But I thought it was cool. I like the feathers. 
And the reason I'm so nonchalant about it is because if you're a mixed media artist or mixed media, do mixed media, you use so many stencils on a background that you're just taking those stencils on and off, on and off. Do this, do that. So anyway, I thought that was a really cool stencil. So I picked up three of them for giveaways. Okay. Moving on. How much time do we have? Oh, we're good. Okay. Um, I picked up three of these canvases. I've, we have that crafter section at this new Dollar Tree that I'm um, going to. Now, and it's one of those big Dollar Trees, so really big. So I thought they would have that crafter's corner. We have it, but it's not as big as I've seen some others, which I'm surprised, though, because that Dollar Tree is one of those huge Dollar Trees. Huge. So I'm not sure why they didn't do the big crafter's corner, but they are carrying stuff from that crafter's corner. So... I, hopefully they make it bigger. But anyway, I got in that crafter's corner, they had uh, canvases, stretch canvas boards. So I want to do some um, mixed media on here. Um, specifically, I want to do some, um, oh, what is it called? Um, I'm trying to think of the name I like to say. Fenabar. Fenabar Inspired. Um, if you guys know about Fenabar Inspired, you guys know what I'm talking about. If not, you'll see me do a video on these. Okay? All right. Next. Okay, I seen a girl like six months ago bust out with these napkins, and none of my Dollar Trees have these napkins. But at the new Dollar Tree, they did, so I bought one, two, three, four, five. Now, I buy five packs of napkins like this for my mixed media, okay? So that's why I bought five. So here's five, and they're of sunflowers. Oh, this is going to go so good in my backgrounds, in my mixed media, when I do my spreads. Aren't those gorgeous? Those napkins are everything. Oh, my goodness. Especially when I do, like, a vintage page. Oh, I am so in love with these. And I was in love with them when I seen um, this girl have them on her video. And um, I, I've been looking for them for months, like, probably for the last six months, and I could not find them. So I bought five packs and the reason I bought five packs is I do mixed media I do giveaways for my mixed media friends and I'd like to put the napkins a couple of napkins in you know when I do the giveaways of uh, a bunch of different napkins also uh, this is it once these go away you'll probably never see them again so get all you you want because you're not gonna see these again so that's why I picked up five I picked up four of these um, one's already in my thing. And actually, one, two, three, four, five. I think I picked up six because I put one in my craft room. So I did pick up six of these. I picked up five of these or four. I think I picked up four of these. One's in my craft room already. So I picked up four of these. <coughs> and I thought these are gorgeous to use in backgrounds. It's black and white stripes with flowers over it. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Now, you can use these napkins for what they're intended to. <coughs> Especially for the holidays, but you can use some fourth year to to wipe your mouth. But not me. Oh no, these are used for my mixed media backgrounds. Gorgeous. If you do card making, if you do all kinds of stuff, you can do. You want to cover a box? You can use napkins. They're great for crafting. So, so obsessed with those. I can't believe I spent like $11 in napkins for mixed media, but beautiful napkins like that, a dollar a pack. Those are only like five bucks, okay? If you're going to find beautiful napkins like that, those are five dollars a pack napkins, not a dollar. So, and so when it comes to my mixed media, I don't mind spending money on mixed media, especially if I can get a good deal. So, all right. Next. Okay, next thing I got was, um this parchment paper but it comes in pop-up sheets so it's individual sheets so this is how it's pretty long and the reason i got this is when i do my jelly printing i want to jelly print on this stuff i jelly print on deli paper and then i thought oh i want to jelly print on parchment paper i wonder how that'll work so i seen these sheets and i'm gonna do it so now i have parchment paper on a roll that i like to bake with when i do cookies or anything like that but these sheets, I thought this is going to be cool when I do some jelly printing. Oh, this is going to be nice. It has a certain thickness to it that the jelly paper is a lot thinner. So this is a lot thicker. So 
excited. There's 25 sheets. So excited to do that. Okay. And of course, when I do some jelly printing with those, that'll be on a video. Um, I bought three packs of these. The other pack is already in my in my um, studio, my art studio. But I just bought baby wipes. And you know, it's this, these are nice. This is a, the Fisher price, so it's a name brand. There's 80 wipes, but they're thicker than the off brand. And I like to use a little bit thicker because I do techniques with baby wipes in my mixed media, and I use them just to wipe my hands off. So I like the little bit thicker ones. So I picked up three of these just because they don't always have this name brand. They have that off brand, and they're pretty chintzy which I still use them, but it's just nice to use a thicker one. Um, I picked up another one of these because finally I was only able to find the one that had the two bags, but they're still carrying the storage bags that have three bags. You guys, these are awesome. See how she's, she has, a, there's a handle at the top. These are fabulous. You 12 by 12 paper pads can fit in here. Um, so that's how big these are. A 12 by 12 paper pad can fit in here. Um, when you have a bunch of craft items and you need to like, Let's suppose you're doing some art journaling and everything in that art journal, you want to keep it all together. And for that project, you can put everything in one of these and it'll hold that project. That's how I like to do it. Or if you're doing like a junk journal and you have all this stuff for the junk journal, you can put all that stuff that belongs to that junk journal in one of these. These are fabulous. They're about like this big. They're very, very nice. Let me open it up. And you get three. I was, I bought a couple others. We got only two. Um, and they're a little bit bigger, but I like this size. This is the large and you get three. Okay. Let me show you. So you can see this is the size I'm talking about. See? Love. So they are fabulous. Fabulous to store your projects in when you're working on your projects. They're also fabulous um, if you're a knitter or crocheter and you have like, you know, your yarn and then you have, um, you can put your project in here, you can put all your yarn in here and then you can see, um, you know, it's see-through so you can see what project you're picking up. Um, so they're fabulous.